Hello fellow Sudokans and welcome to Zen and the Art of the Guardian Sudoku Puzzle. It's Saturday the 11th of November afternoon time here, quite late afternoon really for me to be playing this game. How are you doing? How's your weekend going? I hope it's going fine swimmingly. You don't actually have to go swimming to have a weekend go swimmingly. Uh, it's just one of those weird words. Um, uh, mine is pretty good. I did actually go swimming and uh, unfortunately the pool was as crowded as expected so not quite as good an experience as I have during the week but never mind. Still managed to get in a few strokes. Uh, what's going on? Well, uh, when uh, when um, the Democrats uh, became the majority in the Senate in the US um, many people were happy Personally, I was rather cautious because I thought of Joe Manchin, who is not really a Democrat. And actually, I was proved to be correct because his many of his decisions, many of his arguments were actually uh, against the public good uh, and in favor of personal gain. Uh, that man is one of the worst, one of the worst examples of the U.S. politics. U.S. politics is so money based uh, nothing else makes any sense. But they are, you know, they can, they they can gain so much personal uh, wealth from uh, from being politicians. Uh, a bit like in many other countries, the one I'm in <laughs> has something similar. I must admit, um, but it's not good. Um, you know, it's not good for democracy. Um, and uh, so, uh, unfortunately, Biden. Uh, uh, sorry, um, Manchin's views along with Kirsten Cinema, who was originally voted in as a Democrat and suddenly nobody realized that she was going to be like that suddenly changed cinema also suddenly changed and decided she was not going to vote along the Democrat lines and then she became an independent she's going to be she's going to lose her seat next time for sure but Manchin has decided he's not going to run next time and left-wingers or there aren't many left-wingers in the US but you know what I mean uh, reasonable people uh, in the Democratic Party were suddenly cheering, yay, 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 no more hideous mansion. And then they were stopped cheering and went, oh, no, that means that the Republicans are probably going to win the seat. Um, but the thing that annoys me so much is that the Democrats are so lazy. They should have for years been trying to, I mean, it's not like West Virginia is a rich seat where people are rich. No, in fact, it's a very poor area has the really terrible um, situation in terms of education and, and various uh, factors when you compare them with other states of the US. What they should really be doing is, I know that they say it's the coal industry. Um, the thing is that Man Manchin won because of his influence with the coal industry. But you know, what about if they took an actual coal miner somebody who actually mines the coals and a working man a working woman somebody who actually does the job somebody who works in the industry but not on the side of the corporations that take the cash but on the side of the workers you know surely they could get votes from people who actually work in the industry in the coal industry voting for someone who actually works in the industry and understands the industry itself um, <laughs> oh, I don't know. But it just seems to me that they never really work hard enough, the Democrats. They just want things to fall into their lap. So many places uh, in recent elections where the Democrats never even contested the seat. So, you know, there's not much chance for America. I, I'm, I'm very, um, not very optimistic about uh, American politics in the near future. Uh, it's going to take a long time to de-Trumpify the country. So, um, and as I say, as I often say on this channel, it's not that I'm really worried about America so much as I'm worried about the rest of the world. Okay, let's get on with the game of Sudoku because I've gone on long enough. And I do notice a couple of ones pointing up here. Did I mention the game? This is the New York Times hard level Sudoku puzzle. Uh, we've got four blocking across here and four across here, so we'll get four down there. Mm. 
six blocking across here now so there's a six what are we left with down here seven and something seven seven eight so we've got the eight blocking across here here's our eight here's our seven this will be seven and can't find you what are you eight Uh, six across this way and up there there's a six Let's have a look around. Uh, this is a pair of four and five, four and five down there. So that's a pair of four and five. Um, so the remaining squares here will contain uh, six and three, three across here. Then there's the three and there's the six. So six across here and here and down there. And six up here. And is this the last one? Yes, it was. Seven. Four, six, up, seven. This is seven, eight. I'm going to go around again, start again. Uh, okay, so I see that we have ones in those squares and those squares, so that's going to put ones there. It might be useful. Maybe. Sevens are there. One and seven.
Oh, in the meantime, we've got three blocking across here like that. That's even better. There we go. That's good, isn't it? Okay, so now I've got the ones sorted out. We've got ones blocking like this. Uh, all of these squares in this column, so that will be our one. And then our sevens will block down here like that. So there's our seven. I had something else down. Oh, yes, yeah, seven. That's a pair of seven and eight down there, actually. Uh, that's a pair of seven and eight. I don't know if that means anything else, but let's have a look. Yes, it does. Look, we've got nine blocking across here and nine down here, so that's a nine. Um, then nine up here, nine down there, nine across there. There's a nine. And then nine blocking across here and across here puts nine into those squares. But I know I had ones blocking there, so that's a pair of one and nine. And then this will... Oh, one... Oh, no, there are three squares left. I thought I had two squares left. Damn. <laughs> All right, that's one and nine. Um... Ah, well, anyway, we've got nine here and nine there. That's a nine. two blocks all the way up here there's a two two blocks down here up here across there there's a two we have one more number for this column and this row actually uh, eight I think it is one blocks across here here's our one this will be eight one to the end, one across here, there's a one. One to the bottom here, or one across here, down here, across there. That, is this the last? No, it's not the last one. Where else? Oh, yeah, there's one over here. There we go. There's our one. Now, of course, we had our nine, didn't we? So nine blocking there. There's our nine. Uh, one more number to go here. That's a five. And um, we have nine blocking down here and across there. So this is the final digit, nine. One, six, and nine are finished. Meantime, we can finish this, can't we? What goes there? Uh, uh, five. Okay, five blocks across here. Here's a five. This would be four. 
4 is also the last number here, 4's block across and down there will give me the 4 there, 4 going up here and across there means that's the final digit, 4. We have one more number to fill in here, I think it's, no it's not a 3, it's a 2. Uh, one more number for this row, that is a 5 and 5 blocking across here and up there means that's a 5 uh, 5's like this means we can get 5 there, that's one, four, five, six, nine. all finished what are the last numbers down here, 7 and 8 is it, do we have any clue, no not really what else do we have to do? Okay, so most of the grid is done. We can get this, can't we? All we have to do is work out what goes here. And what goes here is 3, 7, 8, by the looks of it. Uh, so that's 3, 7, and 8. That's going to be 2. Uh, our 2 blocking across here and up here gives us 2 in that square, 2 across here, 2 up there. There's our 2, and this will be the last number to place, which is a 7, I think. And 7 also blocks across there, giving us 7. There's 7 down, there's a 7. Missing number here is 8. 8 blocks up here, there's an 8. The last number to place here is a 3. Uh, 3 blocks to the top. If I can only go in a straight line, you know what I'm trying to do, don't you? There we go, there's our 3. And the last number will be 8. One number to get here. Uh, are you a. No, you're not a two. One, two, three, four. Seven is what we need. And seven also blocks down here. So there's our seven. This will be eight. Eight blocks up here. There's our eight. And three finishes off our hard level Sudoku puzzle from the New York Times for Saturday. Carry on enjoying your weekend, please, please. You only got one life, so you may as well have fun with it. See you around. Bye-bye.